In Tekken 8, King can execute higher damage versions of his most powerful throws. Known to the community as a blue spark throw, for obvious reasons, these throws require a quick input. Well, at least that's all the move list will tell you. But what does a quick input even mean? Well, for Giant Sui and Tawana Twister, it's definitely not the fastest possible throw. In fact, I can input these throws as fast as the game can handle, even skipping diagonals, and it still doesn't count as a blue spark throw. As it turns out, there are three specific requirements to a blue spark throw. First, your throw input must include all six directions. You'll still get the throw even if you skip some directions, but doing so will invalidate the blue sparks version. Second, you must enter the crouch forward state for three frames at most. Also, for those that don't know, crouch forward is that state you enter when you press down forward in neutral. You know that funny crouch where you scoot forward in low parry? Yeah, that one. And finally, once you enter this state, you must quickly finish the motion by inputting forward and one. Either inputting forward and one on the same frame, or one immediately after the forward. Also, because the blue sparks can only be accessed after entering crouch forward, this means that the timing of all the other directions are unimportant. You can be really slow as long as the last three inputs are very quick. Also, the crouch forward requirement is why blue spark throws cannot be fully buffered. When you fully buffer a throw, you never enter the crouch forward state. So to get a blue spark throw after an attack, you have to slightly delay your input so you press down forward after the attack ends. In summary, make sure you include all six directions and input down forward, forward, and one as fast as possible. Okay, that was a lot. Fortunately, the blue spark shining wizard is much more straightforward. Simply put, once you start a dash, you have six frames to input another forward and two plus four. The dash itself can be input as slow as you want, but the moment you start that dash, you have six frames to finish the input. In other words, forward, 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 two plus four. And in case you weren't aware, a while running attack must be input at least one frame after the last forward. They cannot be on the same frame. And now that you know how it works, here are some practice tips. First, set your opponent to a grounded state. This way you can practice your throws without needing to reset every time. Second, you can start by going slow on the parts that don't matter to focus on the parts that do. Third, remember that this strict execution check only adds 5 damage, so don't stress too much about it. I hope this was helpful. Also, I know that other characters also got new blue spark moves that don't follow the same rules as kings. I want to look at them all, but I don't play all the characters, so please leave a comment with any blue spark moves that you know of so I can investigate them. Thanks!